What's going on with trans folks these days? What's the big thing this week? Um, uh, J.K. I'm Rowling. Along. I'm passing a lot of laws. I don't know. Is J.K. Rowling she back in the news? J.K. Rowling is. It's weird. Not they, good. It's weird that somehow, like every month, they find a way to be like, "Oh, she's transphobic." It's like, hasn't she been that for years? Well, now? you always th- you go to her. Twitter page. She's she's getting real about it, like all the time. She's way she's heavy on it. Yeah. It's all she thinks about. It's such a funny thing to be mad about. Yeah, especially as like you're a billionaire fucking British bitch. <laughs> yeah, right. You live on a fucking cliff. Yeah. Right. You live in that picture of that island with the little house in the middle. Right. That's where she. She lives. goes outside and there's a hot air balloon in her driveway. Yeah. Well, that's probably why she's so worried about it. Right. It's They're stealing she's... my culture. Yeah. yeah. As a British rich freak, <laughs> 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 I have nothing left. Yeah. You're going to take it away from me. Bud Light. Bud Light is, yeah, Bud Light is the thing. They, they had gay You see the Kid Rock video? Where he's shooting the cans. Incredible. Yeah. Such a great video. And that he's shooting up, uh, I didn't see it. I heard about he it. He shoots, he says, fuck Bud Light, and he shoots a gun at a... It's got to really, not for Kid Rock, but to, yeah, to, yeah, to, to be like a conservative that's invested in the culture war because i feel like the majority of them aren't i feel like it's a it's a, a slim minority i feel yeah. like a lot of them that obviously a lot of people have to watch tucker carlson in these shows because they have high ratings but i feel like it's a small minority of of conservatives that actually are posting on twitter and engaging yeah. in any of this shit right and if you're one of those guys it's really got to suck to lose bud light yeah you know that was a I mean? major hit that's their, like, that's... The, well, Bud, what would the equivalent for us be? Bud Light is their Freddie Mercury. Yeah, if we found out Freddie Mercury... That'd be like if you found out Tom of Finland wasn't gay. <laughs> is the equivalent to be, like, a fucking, you know... And there's just no sympathy for those people. Tom of Finland, I only discovered him kind of recently, but it's good stuff. It's amazing, and now the more I think about it, it would be the funniest thing in the world if he wasn't gay. If he, was a, if he was a guy that's just he's like, like oh, God, yeah. oh, no, I want to be at a giant cop. No, no, not even just being like, these guys are fucking cool. Dude. <laughs> I'm going to draw the coolest guys I've ever seen. The coolest seen. straight guys I've ever hanging out. <laughs> One time I was at, you know that I'm going to draw the co- just really fucking cool guys riding motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's co- a cop? Yeah, they got yeah. A, fucking, a cop with cool a big mustache. ass fucking dick yeah. and he's riding a motorcycle <laughs> and he's hanging out with sailors. Yeah. They're fucking just, it's just cool guys hanging out with each other. One time I was at Mast Books, you know that place? Yeah. I was at, I was over there and I found a Tom of Finland book. I was with Patrick. Mm-hmm. We were sitting there and I was like flipping through the Tom of Finland book and I was like, Oh, God, just loudly to make Patrick laugh. Going like, oh, God, what the, what is this? Just really loudly. And then I closed the book, and right next to me was Frank Ocean. Really? Yeah. And he was like, no. He sang, he sang yeah. the beautiful no, song. Yeah. But I felt really bad. Yeah. I felt really bad. I was like, he he's going to think I'm an asshole Please now. Please don't say that. Yeah. You know?